What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going through each mode of the pedal commando and doing the 0 to 60 test and we're going to see how big of a difference it really makes, if any difference at all. So let's get started. So this is the pedal commando off. It's all stock. So let's see what we get with this. And, yep. Alright, so that was 15.40 seconds. That's kind of what I figured it would be. So it is nighttime now. There was too much traffic for me to do a good test earlier. So now that it's nighttime, there's less traffic and I'm able to do it. Um, so now I'm going to run through each mode. There's eco mode, sports mode, sports plus mode, and city mode. Um, I'm going to do each one basic though. So no additions, just city. Sport, Sport Plus, none of the pluses. So that way I can get a pretty accurate test. Okay, as you can see, I'm in eco mode. This is the slowest one. This mode's not meant to be fast though, it's meant to save gas. So of course it's gonna be the slowest one. It's definitely taking its time getting up there. So that was 24 seconds in eco mode. Now we're in city mode. So let's see what this is. Oh, almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay. So that was, city mode was 19.71 seconds. As y'all can see now, I'm in sports mode. Just sport zero. Here we set it, and let's see how it goes. This is significantly faster than eco mode. Okay. So sports mode was 16.25 seconds. Okay, this is sports plus mode. It's supposed to be the fastest one. So let's reset this, get it ready, and go. So that was 15.45 seconds. The four different modes. Um, there was a big difference. And remember, for each mode, there's four different settings that you can put it on, four different power levels. So there's a noticeable difference between it being off, eco mode, and sports plus mode. It does not give you horsepower, and it will not increase your top speed. It, pretty much all it does is improves your zero to 60 and you know, makes it easier to pass somebody on the highway. It connects between the gas pedal sensor and the car's ECU, and by intercepting the signal before it reaches the ECU, the pedal commando adjusts the signal to be faster or slower. So it kind of creates this experience similar to a chip tune without changing the overall power of the car, if that makes sense. So yeah, like I said, your horsepower and top speed remain exactly the same. And that's where a lot of people get confused and say it's a gimmick because they're thinking it's going to add horsepower to your car and it doesn't. It doesn't claim to add horsepower or even change your top speed. A lot of times why people go with the pedal commando is because doing the chip tune will void the car's manufacturer warranty or extended warranty. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Plus it's way more expensive. So there's four main modes. Okay, you got economy, City, Sports, and Sports Plus. You know, you want improved fuel, you use Econo Mode. City is for moving in traffic. Um, then Sport and Sport Plus is just if you're 
wanting to go fast though. Sports Plus is more for the track or something like that. I don't know why you would ever want to do that on the main street. It's just it's too much. And honestly, the pedal commander was a super easy install. I had it done in like two minutes. It's literally just two clips. You unplug the one clip, plug it into the pedal commander, and then the other end of the wire you plug in where you took the force clip out. Literally done in a minute and a half. The eco mode claims to add 20% more on fuel economy. Uh, I do plan on doing a test. Let me know if y'all'd like to see it of driving in eco mode for for tank and then driving with the car off in a four tank and see if it actually saves any gas. I feel like it will because when it's in eco mode, you lose so much power. Then there's two ways to control it. You can do it on the device itself or the app. I honestly usually use the device because it's right here on my dash. I just press the button to change it. And it also gives you kind of a more linear acceleration curve. So that means the vehicle's acceleration will be more consistent throughout the range of the pedal. So it pretty much gives you a more smooth and predictable driving experience, if that makes sense. Now, is the pedal commander for everybody? Probably not. I personally like it. It makes driving my car a lot more fun. Now, you got to remember with my car, I have a two-inch lift, bigger tires, and with my roof rack and boxes and storage up there, I have pretty much a sail on top of my car. So I'm losing a lot of speed anyway. So the pedal commander kind of helps me get it back. So there you have it. That was all the modes with the pedal commander. Did the results come out like you thought they would? Were they different? Were they better? Were they worse? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.